If you've purchased a carbureted ignition from Daytona Twin Tech for your shovel head evolution or twin cam and you want to know where to set the dials, stay tuned to this video. The most common tech support phone call I get with Daytona Twin Tech Ignition Systems has to be due to where to set the dials. Fact is guys, if we told you where to exactly set the dials for your engine combination, we would be doing you a disservice. Every motorcycle is different. Where you live makes things quite a bit different. The fuel quality that you may have, the octane availability, how your engine's built, how healthy your engine is, how your carburetor's tuned, are just some very small factors. So what I'll do is at least give you some guidelines and some ideas on where to get started. Now, depending on if you're working with a 1005 ignition for your the nose cone ignitions for your shovel heads uh, and your evolutions or the external ignitions, uh, the 1006 and 1007, they all have one thing in common and that's a mode select switch. Now, if you refer to the instruction sheets, what you're gonna see is that you have a choice of street curves or race curves. Okay, now in the instruction sheets, you'll have a chart that shows you min and maximum advance uh, based on that factor, street or race curves, as well as whether or not you're utilizing a VOES. So I would strongly suggest you refer to the instruction sheets so you can actually see what's going on there. Uh, the other thing a mode select switch will do is enable or disable multi-spark. Now, multi-spark is not the same as single fire or dual fire. Multi-spark is essentially a, a, a feature that we built into the ignition systems that would fire the spark plug multiple times in a very rapid rate to help decrease the possibility of fouling plugs at lower RPM. So I like to always encourage people to enable the multi-spark whether or not you're running single fire or dual fire. Okay, now when you step into the twin cam programmable ignitions, you also have a mode select switch but uh, basically your mode selects have to do with uh, whether or not you've, you're enabling uh, multi-spark or not. It's as simple as that. The next two switches that you have are going to be for your advanced slope and initial timing. All right, now your advanced slope setting will move your advanced curve to the left or to the right. It's the easiest way I can think of to explain it. Essentially, the higher your advanced slope, the more aggressive your timing is. Okay, now for your initial timing, that moves your entire advance curve up and down. So if you're starting with essentially a stock engine, put your advance slope and your initial timing at five and five. That's very close to the stock settings. If you're dealing with a more of a hot rod engine, a little elevation and compression ratio, maybe an aggressive cam, set them at two and two. That's a good place to start. Uh, the fact is we're just giving you a conservative place to start. If you just set it there and leave it, you're not doing your engine justice and you're not doing the ignition systems uh, justice. So uh, the best thing that we suggest, if you start at two and two, and then you can slowly click and be, get more aggressive with each one of those dials, maybe advance the initial one click to three and see if you get detonation. And the idea is you click it once, you go ride. If you hear detonation, then you click it back once. So that's the idea is you're looking for point of detonation minus a couple of degrees. Okay, and then the other two switches are simply your RPM limit. Uh, the first one is gonna represent thousands. Uh, the second switch would represent hundreds. So if you wanted to set your rev limit at say 6200, then your first switch would be at six, your second switch would be at two. And that's pretty much about it, guys. Now, of course, remember these ignitions are also capable of accepting custom tables. So what you do, you call us up, you order our USB interface, and that gives you to build a completely custom curve. Now, for, for those of you that have kickback issues, primarily we see that on twin cam soft tails, beating up starters and ring gears. Um, it's hard to say exactly what the problem can be. It could be, again, compression ratio very high, cylinder pressure high, any number of issues there. Uh, before you order one of these ignitions, give us a call, um, actually give me a call directly, and I can custom program the ignition for you if you have that problem currently. 
and uh, there's a lot of background programming and different odd things that need to be done uh, to help address those engines that have those uh, those kickback problems so basically when you get it for me out of the box it's ready to go and plug in with a good base a ignition table in it and uh, which should solve uh, your kickback issue so be sure to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and share this with your friends thank you very much for watching